Welcome, my curious learners, to AI Vaunt Guard. In today's video, we are breaking down a research paper on a new type of neural network, the Structure Aware Transformer for Graph Representation Learning. So, let's dive in and explore the marvels of this extraordinary architecture. To begin with an analogy, imagine a city map with various locations like houses, parks and shops. The roads connecting these locations form a network, similar to how friends on Facebook or followers on Twitter are connected. In the world of computer science, we call these networks graphs. They're not just limited to maps or social networks. They can represent things like molecules, where each atom is a location and the bonds between them are the roads. Now, let's say you wanted to teach a computer to understand and make predictions about these networks. For instance, you might want it to predict which new molecule might be harmful to humans. To do this, we use a special kind of machine learning model designed for graphs called graph neural networks, GNNs. They operate by letting each location, or node, in the network chat with its immediate neighbors to gather information. However, there's a limitation. GNNs can only chat with direct neighbors, so they might miss out on important information from distant locations. It's like trying to understand the entire city's popular spots by only talking to your next-door neighbors. Enter the hero of our story, the Structure-Aware Transformer, or SAT, as we'll call it. This new technique aims to overcome the limitations of GNNs. You might have heard of transformers. They've become the talk of the town in the world of language processing, helping computers understand and generate human-like text. Transformers can analyze entire sentences, considering how each word relates to all other words, rather than just its immediate neighbors. So the big idea is, why not use this powerful ability of transformers to understand graphs better? SAT does just that blending the strengths of GNNs and transformers to understand both the close neighbors and distant locations in a network. The structure-aware transformer is like a two-step process. Step 1. Local understanding with GNNs. Before diving deep, the structure-aware transformer first tries to understand the immediate neighborhood around each location in the network using a graph neural net. But instead of just chatting with direct neighbors, it looks at the entire mini-neighborhood, creating what we call structure-aware representations. Step 2. Global understanding with transformers. Now, armed with these enhanced local insights, SAT uses the transformer model to look at the bigger picture. It considers how each mini-neighborhood relates to every other one in the entire network, helping it capture intricate patterns the GNN might miss. When put to the test, the structure-aware transformer was like the star student of the class. It outperformed other models on various tasks, especially when it came to understanding and classifying different networks. One of the coolest things was that it wasn't just about high scores. SAT could also explain its reasoning better. The attention it paid was clearly on the essential parts of the networks, making it easier for researchers to understand what the model deemed important. The structure-aware transformer is like the best of both worlds. By first getting to know the immediate surroundings with GNNs and then looking at the entire network with transformers, SAT manages to capture both the local vibes and the bigger picture. The results are promising, making it a significant step forward in the world of graph machine learning. I hope this provides a simple insight into the potential of this new novel architecture. There is a link to the research paper in the description if you would like to delve deeper. If you found this resource helpful and would like to know more on a topic in the field of neural networks and artificial intelligence, let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell to be updated on future videos. Thank you all for watching, and until our next journey into the depths of knowledge, stay curious.